So Todd Starnes is an interesting character. He is a writer and commentator for Fox News, and he has a story that he's covered, and I want to show it to you and then get your reaction and share mine with you. Well, a massive Ten Commandments monument that has been outside a Pennsylvania public school for 60 years is now being removed. Now, the reason, one complaint from an atheist mother who filed a federal lawsuit. Fox News Radio host Todd Starnes is live for us in D.C. with his take on the controversy in his one-minute commentary. Good morning, Todd. Well, good morning, guys. Yeah, the Ten Commandments is getting the heave-ho from a high school near Pittsburgh. The new Kensington Arnold School District has 30 days to remove the giant monument from the front lawn of Valley High School. It's all part of the settlement in a federal lawsuit filed by an aggrieved atheist. She tells the local newspaper the monument was a violation of the Constitution. She also said the commandments were offensive. So I was kind of wondering, which was the most offensive commandment? Now, if I was a betting man, I'd say it was either the one about the graven images or the one about coveting your neighbor's ass. The school district defended their decision to surrender. They said they had a winnable case, but they wanted to take the high road and compromise. But it's not much of a compromise, seeing how the monument is getting hauled away and the atheists are getting a payday. So the school district had an opportunity to teach kids how to defend their constitutional rights to stand up and do the right thing. Instead, they threw in the towel. And in doing so, they violated the 11th commandment. Thou shalt not tuck a tail and run. Wow. Back to you. <laughs> I forgot about that one. To yeah. tuck yeah. Always tail forget about that one. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Todd. Todd thanks. thanks. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. The eleventh commandment, guys. Thou shalt not tuck the tail and run. All right, but let me get to this. So the mother of the child, her name is Marie Schaub. Now she filed this lawsuit, a federal lawsuit against the school in Pennsylvania in 2012, and she, as an atheist, felt offended. Now I don't know if offended would really be the right word, but that's what she said. She said offended and wanted the monument to be taken down, the six-foot-tall monument of the Ten Commandments. And for those of you who have never read the Constitution or taken a civics class, there's this thing called the separation of church and state. So, the government can't endorse a religion. So if it's a public school, you can't put something there that endorses a certain religion, whether it be athe or not atheism, <laughs> whether it be Christianity, Buddhism, Muslim, or Islam, and you name it. Government has no right to tell people or to endorse a religion to believe in. So ta um, the Freedom From Religion Foundation was huge in helping get this case settled. And yeah, the school had to compromise because they didn't want to draw out the lengthy battle, even though the school superintendent, John Pallone, said, quote, in order to take the high road, they dropped the lawsuit. We compromised and agreed to remove the monument. So Todd Starnes has a different opinion. He said, that's hardly a compromise. It's more like an appeasement. The superintendent went on to tell the newspaper he believed the district, quote, had a winnable case. Okay, no, he didn't. They never had a winnable case. There's so much precedent that's already been established on this issue alone. You cannot have Bibles in schools that are publicly funded. You cannot have the Ten Commandments. And let's, let's look at it through the lens of a different perspective. What if it was the five pillars of Islam at a school somewhere in, I don't know, Oregon? And a Christian student sees it, gets offended, wants it taken down. Well, under Todd Starnes' airtight logic, then that person, you know, shouldn't, or the school shouldn't take down the five pillars of Islam. But do you really think he believes that? Do you really think he would be okay with the five pillars of Islam up instead of the Ten Commandments? Come on. Come on. You know that's not true. Uh, so, uh, the 
winner, I guess you could say, in this lawsuit, um, Marie Schaub, she said, It's unfortunate that many people in my community don't understand or appreciate the separation of church and state, but I hope this settlement serves as an important lesson. She seems like a total militant atheist, ready to stomp on all the Bibles and tear down all the churches in her area, doesn't she? No, it's just absolutely ridiculous. And Todd Starnes is just a fool. The school district, he says, has an opportunity to demonstrate to children how to defend their rights under the Constitution. Again, the Constitution, in no uncertain terms, spells out the separation of church and state. So, whenever you hear people saying that all these liberal snowflakes and all these, you know, safe spaces that people need to go to, well, it sounds like the people who need the safe spaces are on the other side as well. 